Mr. Mastel. Thank you, Mr. Chair and uh, Ranking Member Nelson. Uh, I'm very excited to be a new member in the committee. Look forward to working with all of you and my colleagues as well. And it is true, all the questions have been asked. Um, but I do want to, uh, first of all, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to meet with me, Secretary Chow. I look forward to uh, future conversations. Uh, if one thing I have learned from all my colleagues and listening to their questions to you is uh, we are going to all be competing against one another for funds, and you're going to be the person we're going to be going to uh, for the important needs in our state. And um, one of the questions I have for you um, is involving an important project that's happening right now in Nevada, and I think we talked about it, which is Interstate 11, right? right? Uh, so Las Vegas and Phoenix are two of the largest cities in the country that are not connected by an interstate. Um, and in the last Congress, uh, an Nevada delegation work to include the I-11 future designations in the surface transportation bill. Now that the route is eligible for federal funds, Nevada and Arizona will be looking for federal support to bring these existing roads between the cities up to interstate standards. And wanted just to get a commitment from you uh, on uh, support for Interstate 11 and what role do you see for federal assistance to fund uh, projects of regional significance such as Interstate 11? Senator, you and I have talked about this a great deal. Um, it's obvious that you care about this issue deeply. I like to get more briefed on it. Uh, I said to you that I would, this would be a priority, uh, I that I would uh, look at this, and I would do so. Thank you, and I appreciate that. One of the things that has come to my attention after talking with not only um, the director of the Department of Transportation, but our regional transportation um, directors and commissions in the state of Nevada, um, particular of importance is light rail system. Uh, in Nevada, if you don't know, um, I, I've had the opportunity to work with the transportation commissions. And right now, they're looking to connect um, our airport, McCarran, to the strip in downtown Las Vegas. And that will move 2 million Clark County residents through the corridor, which is ripe for economic development, as well as provide a transportation for over 40 million annual visitors to the Las Vegas area. Um, this project will need federal dollars. Um, and in our meeting, you said that uh, department secretaries have to make tough choices and uh, when allocating that funding and that there's never enough. So how do you evaluate where these limited resources will go? And uh, two, it's come to my attention as well that when we're talking about evaluating and allocating the funding, um, it's based on a formula that also includes population. But that formula, formula includes a population based on a census in 2000. And as you know, Nevada, particularly Las Vegas, is one of the fastest growing communities. And, and so to me, that is an outdated formula. And yeah. would like to know your thoughts and commitment in, in working with us and how we um, address that issue. Well, the highway formula grant is very complicated. In recent years, it's gotten actually a lot simpler. Um, but because of the short-term aspect of the highway bills in the past, except for the FAST Act, which is a tremendous accomplishment, that formula has just repeated itself. So it's totally within the purview of Congress that if indeed that formula were to be changed, that Congress would be able to change it. And um, like my colleagues, um, let me just say autonomous vehicles uh, in Nevada, we uh, like what I'm hearing from um, several of my colleagues, it is an important important issue and economic driver in developing new technology. In fact, Governor Sandoval recently announced um, dedicating specific resources um, from our state to a center for autonomous vehicles. And, and our state is the first in the nation to dedicate those resources for this kind of technological investment. I've heard your conversation, your commitment to working with us on this new technology, addressing the concerns. But what I'd like is your commitment to come to Nevada. Take a look at what's going on and talk with our governor and our economic development so you can see firsthand. Uh, would you commit to coming to Nevada and making a visit and looking at what's happening there? I would be delighted to come to Nevada. Thank you. And one final Thank thing, you. just to put on your radar, we didn't get a chance to talk about when we were meeting, disadvantaged business enterprises are important for me. Um, as a former member of Department of Transportation in the state of Nevada, this was an important initiative that our director continues to promote. And so I uh, just wanted to make sure that uh, you understand that, and I look forward to working with you on that issue as well and those programs. Thank you. Thank you.